So I guess where I'm driving to is how do you effectively balance that that creativity versus data? Because if the, if the data is telling you one thing, but actually you've got a hunch that, that doing this this way, despite what the data says, this could really pay off. And marketing is a lot about experimentation and iteration. So how do you balance the two versus the risk? I think it depends. And that's <laughs> not a very good answer. Um, it depends on several factors, really. It depends on... I guess the risk appetite of the business, are they willing to experiment and go against what the data is saying, even if the data is 100% accurate? I, I think there's a lot of companies that I've worked for, both as an in-house marketer and, and clients that I've been advising, and quite often the data is taken as the truth, but we all know that sometimes the data in the organization is not particularly accurate. Maybe the data feeds are wrong. So you, you have to uh, balance the knowledge of, is our data accurate? Is is it up-to-date information? Is, is there any bias in there? Um, so I, I think it's, I've worked with a lot of very impressive business owners who've got great marketing brains and, and they, they come up with some fa fantastic ideas. And those ideas are completely against the grain of the data. And, and it's quite hard to be in the, the, the marketing expert because you're looking at the data, you're taking your own gut instinct on what you should do or what you shouldn't do. You're getting some good in, interesting insight from you know, the business owner or the CFO or, or someone else. It, it is a difficult thing to balance. I think at the end of the day, you have to make, you have to minimize the probability of ge getting something wrong. Uh, um, it's never perfect. You can't always get it hundred percent right. Marketing is a constant experiment. Everything's changing. The market changes, consumers change. Your competitors change. So it's constantly evolving. There's no constant. So I, th I think there's an element of making sure that if you are relying on data, make sure the data is as accurate as it can be. If there's quite a lot of inaccuracy in that data, sometimes you just have to use gut instinct. But I wouldn't always rely on gut instincts to make strategic decisions because, again, that can be quite a dumb thing to do sometimes, especially on big ticket projects. It's quite hard to know the difference sometimes. And I find... In businesses where they do this well, yeah. they've got somebody internally who can ask those questions about the data and understand the data, potential faults with the data well enough to be able to ask the hard questions. So people are just naturally good at that. And I, I hate it because it's not, it's absolutely not my wheelhouse. I hate working with like that level of data and scrutinizing it, but it, mm. it's absolutely crucial to kind of come out, make sure that you're not just telling yourself the story you want in order to justify your actions sometimes, which I think a lot of us do. And that's an interesting point because I think in, in a lot of companies where they don't, you know, certainly smaller companies where they don't have the, the level of data of a large enterprise, you, you are relying a bit more on the gut instinct or out of, you know, may, maybe reports that are on Google or industry reports. And you, you have your own natural biases as well. 